Luis Eugenio de Souza. Thank you very much, Michael. Thank you and congratulations for this important uh, meeting discussion. Uh, actually, I'm talking in behalf of Dr. Carla Dominguez, who, who was former co national coordination of the immunization program for 10 years from 2000 to 2011. And she can't be present today, so I will present her slides. So the challenge for improving vaccine coverage in Brazil. Actually, uh, the national immunization program used to be a proud for all health workers, public health workers in Brazil. We had a very successful history from at least 25 years of increasing coverage, controlling polio, measles, and all preventable diseases by vaccines. Unfortunately, in the last years, we see a drop a reduction in the coverage, and it has several reasons. But you can see in this slide, we have a drop in polio from the 2011 to 2019. We used to have 100% of coverage, now it has 82%. The same thing to MMR, also a reduction in, in, in coverage. How can we explain this reduction? At least three possibilities of causes. The mistrust of the populations in vaccines, the difficulty they have to have access to vaccines, and also difficulties related to the information systems. Let's see it one by one. With the control of polio, People are not more used to see the, the, the severity of this disease. They polio became something that was far in the, in, the, in, the, in the time. So they were not aware of the severity of the preventable disease and so of the importance of the relevance of taking a vaccine to have polio prevented. Maybe it's a reason. Also, we have a problem of the relation between risk and benefit of the vaccines. And we are, in, unfortunately, you have a lot of fake news and anti-vax groups promoting fake news, not say about the safety of vaccines, and of the effects, the effectivity of vaccines. It's a problem but because they are promoting disease, they are promoting the suffering of people. Instead, when we know that vaccines are very, very powerful and very safe way of protecting the health of people. Of course, there are some adverse events associated with vaccines, but they are minimal and they are controlled. So it's, they do not justify the fake news in any campaign against the use of vaccines. Maybe the problem is not that people do not believe in vaccines, but related to the complexity of the schedule of vaccines. We have, during the time, incorporated several different vaccines and now the schedule is very complex, as you can see in the slide. We have since the, the vaccines, BCG vaccines at birth, until vaccines for, for kids at 11-year-old kids of human papilloma va vaccines and others. So even the health professionals have difficulty in managing this complex schedule of vaccines. Maybe it has contributed to this drop in the coverage. And we have also problem in the working of our healthcare units, of our, our vaccination services. So sometimes we lose the opportunity, even if when people go to the health services, they are not uh, captured, captured for the vaccine services. So we lost the opportunity. 
and also we have we had in the last few years some important even partial but important shortage of some products some vaccines in the country most of vaccines are produced in country in, in for for labs for brazilian public labs laboratories of vaccines but we had to change to to modernize these labs they were working for several years and during this period you had shortage of some products that may have led to this drop in vaccines also in semi areas of the countries especially in the periphery of the big cities you have a, big, a huge problem of urban violence so healthcare workers have difficult to have access to this community because they are controlled by the, the criminals that is especially drug dealers and sometimes we need even to mobilize the arm to get some emergency actions in these areas as you can see in the picture and we are a large country with some remote areas that are not easily accessible for the health facilities for the health services you, you can see a line a lot a lot a lot of people waiting for vaccines for a yellow fever during an outbreak in a rural area of the country We need also to, to improve or to expand the hours of functioning of the vaccination services. Usually they, they function, they work, they work only in the commercial period from seven in the morning until five in the afternoon. And people who have to work, they have difficult to go to the services during this period. So we're trying to expand until the evening, the hours fun of functioning of the services. Maybe this, this is another reason of the not expanding, is another reason of the reduction in the, in the coverage. And finally, you have a problem in our health systems information, information systems. We used to have a manual written system that worked pretty well but you make, we're making a transition to online and digital record systems. And not everywhere in the country who have good logistic conditions, infrastructures conditions to have a good system, digital system working. So in this transition from the written to the digital system, we have made lose some data and not being registered vaccine coverage. In conclusion, lessons learned on an effective way to improve vaccination. That's what we're trying to do now to overcome this drop in coverage. Partnerships with schools and universities, flexible opening hours for vaccination services, adequate communication to the population, above all about the benefits of vaccination, mobilization of civil society and scientific societies, expansion of vaccine stocks, and improvement of information systems. We think that this important initiative of the World Federation of creating this immunization task force group could help to improve strategic communication between health professionals and the population about the benefits and the importance of vaccination. And maybe we could organize a global survey on the population's perception of vaccines in order to understand the motivation for non-vaccination, to look for regional, national, local, and global strategies to resume high vaccination coverage. Motivations can be related to ideological, religious, or cultural issues and you be, we must be aware of this. Thank you very much.